Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with some more origin moments from The Legend of Vox Machina as compared to Campaign 1 from Critical Role. This is a first for me with the way I'm doing this one, guys. Nobody is putting up any origin scenes from the last three episodes. The only one I could see. And if I'm wrong and there are, please put them in the comments, send me the links, or do what I'm doing with this one right now after I explain to you what is actually going on here. So being as there are no origin moments besides the one I did from Arsqueef, Arsqueef posted one that was Keyleth becoming the light. That was posted like Saturday and I've seen nothing up until now, unless things were posted this morning that I missed. Last night, there was nothing else available. I saw the Q&As dropped and I figured I'd watch them today. But then I was reading the comments today of the Keyleth Becomes Light video that I posted yesterday afternoon and... Brandon Galvin in the comments said, I'm shocked myself no one's posting origin moments. Here is some info where you could possibly watch the origin scenes to Scanlan destroying the gun and the acid. To us, in the acid, we saw the demon come out. In The Legend of Vox Machina, that's how it happened. I don't know if that's how it happened in campaign, but we're going to find out. I was told by Brandon in the comments that all you got to do is kind of just start episode 35. Now... There are differences between the episode numbers and the actual way that videos were listed. For instance, this is episode 35 part 1. Even though it's episode 35 part 1 in the campaign, it's actually the 37th video. So if you do something like I am doing here, just be aware of that. I'm sure you guys are aware of it, being as I am probably the most in the dark of any of you, and I just figured that out now. I almost started on episode 33 because it was the 35th video, and then I realized, wait a second, I don't know. Maybe I'm still wrong. I don't know. I'm not going to know until we watch it because the point of the reaction is I want to go in blind and react, so we're just going to wing it, guys. I'm going to just start from after the advertisements. They do a lot of advertising in the beginning, explaining things that are happening throughout the week. I've noticed that from other campaigns that I've done. I've skipped all that. I started right where Matt Mercer said, welcome, or something like that. He started the story. It's about 11 minutes in. I don't know. I feel like 10 or 15 minutes, I should get the Scanlan gun scene. I don't know. We're just going to go. We're just going to roll with it. We're going to see. I feel like I'll enjoy it regardless. So let's just go with this. I'll watch 10 or 15 minutes. If we don't hit a point where Scanlan takes the gun, then we'll see where we're at. I w would assume I'd know what they're talking about because people told me that what we've seen in the show goes to about episode 39, 40, give or take. So we're still ahead of that. So I feel like I can't get too many spoilers. Let's just jump in. You guys want to be way ahead, full on edited reactions, all the shows on the channel, seasons ahead of what you're seeing, and hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. The link is at the end. If not, here we go, guys. Let's see... All right, so let's see if it actually is, guys. Get you guys up to speed. Get up to speed. It's an elaborate long arc. Um, what was that? Firewoods, being a family that five years ago took over the city of Whitestone, where Percy hails from, murdered his family, and I'm gonna uh, recap. Barely escaped with his life. Years later, came back into the fold of Vox Machina's uh, kind of existence. I like this. We're getting like a full recap and included. To, uh, hunt them down and save the city of Whitestone. Upon arriving, they began to stir a rebellion within the town against this horrible, undead-controlled menace by Lady Brywood herself. Um, after this rebellion was incited, fires were burning, uh, individuals were <laughs> killed that were responsible Great. for keeping the people down, and just generally bad people all around were being uh, slaughtered by our intrepid adventurers. They made their way into Whitestone Castle, uh, where they had... Uh, uncovered some in information about the Ziggurat project. I have my green project, energy juice. The Briarwoods had been developing something beneath no the city of Whitestone. And it's too early. Percy's sister Cassandra, who was thought to be dead long ago, actually still survived and was being kept in the castle. Uh, she joined the party as you guys fought your way down underneath the city. We're of getting a hell of a recap. I like it. Uh, finding yourselves unintentionally locked within a trap, uh, a retooled version of what was previously. Uh, We're reaching the acid pit, so for the looks like Brandon is correct. And Thank you, Brandon. Left for dead by the Briarwoods themselves, uh, in which Vax was charmed and taken along with them, and Cassandra showed herself. You were the one that got uh, us into the acid mess in the first place. Thank you for that. Uh, look at her blaming Liam. Well, <laughs> well they're brother and sister. That is kind of funny. I'm thinking they're like just, oh, well, they are people, but. I never want to encounter acid again. Every time we do, it's bad. Unless you're in the desert. It's always bad. It's well, always bad. In general, 
you know, it's not like, oh, well, this acid's fine. Like, it's just, yeah. Yeah. Citric acid is pretty good. Yeah, I was just going to say, you got acid from juice. I stand Preserves correct. apples. <laughs> um, Could it be a citric acid trap? No. We have a citric acid trap. Oranges attack. <laughs> Can we check for citric acid? <laughs> what a waste of a turn that would be. We are immune to citric it's not, it's not acid. acid resistance oh man, it's getting armor. loud. Citric acid uh, Let's lower this a bit. Um, works both ways. Scurvy. Sometimes they spike. Let me anyway, lower it a bit, guys. Apologize. Um, upon uh, facing the danger of this trap uh, and seeing. Kassan I figured this was the perfect uh, sh shirt for this video. Would, Guns. Uh, the party managed to think their way out of the trap before too much damage was taken and following the Briarwoods to the final chamber where the ziggurat was constructed, uh, where apparently there is some sort of ritual underway to some entity that they worship or work with, they refer to as the Wizard. How far is this gonna go? Um, upon following uh, the party dividing up and falling up the sides of the ziggurat, they managed to catch and encounter the Briarwoods, a charmed Vax, and Cassandra before they could enter the actual ritual chamber. A battle commenced where, um, thanks to- Oh, the he's literally recapping all, all that. Poorly. Um, and in the process, Silas Briarwood was destroyed through a combination of And that's what of, we... Uh, of sunbeam. I did the origin to the Sunbeam and Silas yesterday. Very adventurous Good moment. timing. Uh, it was just a hint of phallic <laughs> imagery. Um, Silas's destruction sent Delilah into uh, a mournful wail, and she decided to try and complete the ritual herself, although it may or may not have been too soon to do so. Uh, Dimension Daughter way into the ritual room in which you guys followed over the wall. She seemed to complete the ritual, uh, creating this small, vacuous, spinning black sphere that is locked in place. Do we learn more about um, that? That thing intrigues me. Uh, presumably felled by a spell as Sucked in the mystic man at the end of... And uh, stop it. Master Yenin. Uh, the party then rushed in to aid Vex. Percy took a shot that uh, intentionally did not finish Lady Briarwood, and only just taking off her right arm as she fell unconscious and bleeding out. Um, that, that didn't happen in the show. We didn't take off her arm, did we? The party rushed in to help her, realized that no, we didn't. the vicinity around this orb had cut all magic. Um, so thus, we knew the that. snatched up and escorted off the side of the ziggurat, and that was where we left. Boom! Brandon, hell of a move, man. We're like Vex, not even 10 minutes Vex, in, and we're right there. Uh, and we got a hell of a recap. I dig it. Good call. Uh, with her down in your arms, who has Delilah? And who has Cassandra. Oh, I think Brock has both. <laughs> he has both of us. Yeah. I'm piled on top of Delilah. <laughs> right. yeah. What? You have Delilah. Grog is just uh, carrying a Delilah and, and bunch of bodies. Who has uh, Cassandra? I think you I have, have Cassandra. Cassandra, okay. So, as you guys are rushing down the steps of the ziggurat itself, the uh, uh, the green glass-like jade material slowly fading into the white stone as you, you know, rush towards the base, um, what little bit of light is available to you from the, the small bits of torches placed to the, at the bottom of the ziggurat and what light sources you brought with you. Uh, you find yourself at the very bottom of the dirt and looking around, there's the exit where you guys originally entered this chamber. Um, you do also see a number of small uh, metallic carts uh, some are top turned over to the side. At this point, you can see you have bits and crumpled pieces of white stone and shards of that. Metallic cart? What is that, like mining and stuff to, to build the place, I guess? Just piles of leftover building materials that are kind of scattered about the base floor of this area. Um, are you saying that Keyleth and I have caught up at this point? Because I know that people started going out of the temple. Right. Keyleth ran in. I handed you guys stay behind. to Grog. So I ran after. Yes, yeah, so you guys are still a little bit behind the rest of the group. You're on your way now and just down rushing down the stairs. Which is like Keyleth and Vax bottom. are slightly behind, but not much, I guess. Probably getting sucked into Uranus. Getting yep. sucked into Uranus. Versus Uranus. Um, all right, so so as the, as everyone except so versus Uranus is what he said. Yeah. That is what I said. Is that just a? Are they just joking, or is Uranus actually key like code word for something in this? I don't recall. I mean, it could just be the joke when you're a kid. Uranus. Tied up. Right. Up to there. Uh, as the rest of you rush down to the bottom, uh, minus uh, Vax and Keyleth. Uh, what do you wish to do? Do you wish to wait for them, or are you going to push on? I feel like Liam almost could have got away with that, but he's playing ball, and I appreciate there, right? following the rules. Right now, right? Well, I was kind of yelling in my earpiece, uh, fuck it, run. Run, run. So you run, know that they're run, following run, behind run, you. Run. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yes. Get this bitch off. Because <laughs> Delilah's on her. It's like carrying coats. Hold on. <laughs> it's like so carrying coats. Are we leaving? Yeah, 
we're trying to get out of here as fast as we can. How are you feeling? Gronk, and I reach up and I grab onto his beard. Uh. This is a beautiful beard. Watch out for traps. At so this point, as you're having this... We don't have a beard on Grog. Is she delusional or does he have a beard? The radiant energy that is currently the form of Pike seems to have slowly withered. And she kind of looks over her shoulder with a look of immediate fear as it... Oh, no. No! Good. Why? 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 Because of, because of technology and also the story. Where is Ashley? Was Ashley Johnson there? Before? I didn't even know she was gone. I didn't either. I didn't either. No, no, no Pike. It seems as if the, uh, the whatever anti-magical aura has slowly pushed the divine connection that keeps her present uh, from the current vicinity. Did you put your die? Also, the battery died on the computer. Was that a coincidence that she isn't there and the computer died? Or is Matt playing along with what's going on? Because that is... And he's just rolling. Matt's like, we're in a game, guys. There are villains around. We can't fuck around with computers. Let me know when we leave that big-ass room that the ziggurat is in. We're still in it, right? You guys have just now made your way towards the exit tunnel, so you're just now leaving. I remember the Liam must be in charge or, or no... Not until how to do stuff because he leaped to uh, aid them. The, the, the gold room, the, 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 the glass room. I marked all the traps. All the traps are marked. All the traps that we found. No, like remember chalk, there was though. one, the poison dust one, which we're immune to still. But that already got stuck. Can I, can I check for traps as I go? Can I check for traps as I go? Sure. Well, you, you, you push and make your way into the. Um, <laughs> They're making it sound like we <laughs> know we found ladies. all the traps that. You're holding <laughs> two ladies. You guys rush behind them. Almost Saturday night, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I like it. I like it. The tunnel, uh, having to lower your head a little bit as you're carrying this, this payload. You're kind of lumbering through a giant Goliath body, just stomping through the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> he, called him, he called you a payload. Yeah. Um, you come to where there is the partially dissolved stone door. Um, and you just kind of rush underneath and using all of your back muscle, make a strength check. Oh, gosh. That's good. Uh, 24. What's his... Add? What does he add? Uh, tensing the entirety of your entire... I feel like he's got to have like a 6 to an 8 well, about you being addition to that number. Itself, like, that's how it got there. To come through carrying that large okay. group of people. Yeah. Um, you lift and you hear the stone <laughs> shift as it's forcefully pushed up. Uh, you hear snaps of things breaking or supports that were keeping I thought I thought he was place. breaking his own back break the door and jam it upward giving you enough space to pull through the rest of the fucking party. hate doors <laughs> doors again don't we all don't we all I enjoy them because we get entertainment out of it or is she unconscious she's unconscious damn it um you make your way into the uh the, the top level of the you could see right here how we've been on like almost 15 minutes now, and that's just walking from the ziggurat to the acid room. It's the danger area. Oh no! You're out. Wait, so who's who's at like zero health? One, one point. I'm at one point of health. Oh, we have potions now. We're out of the magic. Can't you heal some people? I can. We can try it. We can dry it. Just a. I have potions too. She's at one health. We're out of the room. Yeah, we're out of the room. You're not currently with them, though. You're, still, you're behind with Vax trying to catch them. I have, I have some... Have They're some fake common. running. Can I try giving Vax a common healing potion? Yeah. yeah. You want to stop for a second and just, like, pull it out? I'd fucking drop Lady Briarwood, like, on her face. I'm surprised they didn't no, quickly die. heal Vex when Lady Briarwood is with them. What if she smacks Vex in Grog's hand? She's dead. Uh, not even I mean, she's missing an arm, bleeding out, I think. Bring out your potion, set Vex down and hand it to her. Um, so you go ahead... Please work. You go ahead and heal. Please uh, two, work. Four plus two. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Okay. We got Here's some my magic. people. Vex, you're too energetic for a dying lady. Oh, that's you. That's a whole eight points. There you go. That's actually a pretty good. And pull. it stays. It works. Uh, at this point, as you guys have pushed uh, outside of that room, it appears to be. Fun. And I feel like Laura's Yay. using a different accent. Okay. There's there's no accent okay. using on a dying can, can woman. You heal people? Oh, wait. It's a yes or no. Question. I'm awake enough. <laughs> I can try. I'm okay, awake enough. I didn't use all my my. I wake up and I cast cure wounds on myself. Oh. Okay. Ah. Well, I can't do that. Well, oh, shit. There I'm like, go. ooh, I love you so <laughs> much. Cure <laughs> me. I feel like Laura's used multiple accents. Um, I think. In this one moment, 
I like it. I don't mind it. I, I dig accents. Okay. So so two d two d eight plus your uh, your spellcasting modifier. Okay. Whatever your wisdom modifier. Is. Whatever your wisdom modifier is. That was not even as good as the common potion. Wait, wait. Wah, wah. Fourteen. Okay. Okay. All right. So basically full hit points at this point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I should heal you up just a touch more. What are you at? Twenty-three points. I feel like if we went this far with her at one, that twenty-three is pretty solid right now. Let's uh, continue to move. We have a whispering demon at a sphere that's sucking magic with Lady Briarwood in our arms. Run. Go. Leave. Drink. No problem. Pike. Pike, we're here. I give it to her. But <laughs> The computer broke. You're pretty cool, too. Thanks, buddy. That was almost like somewhat... Insulting. I would have gave it to Pike, but she's not here. Yeah. Better roll strong. I know there's a lot of kidding going around and jabs between friends. So I'm at 34 points. Hey, as a uh, That's better. as a better. thank you for that. What? What about that gun? Ah! Just let me hold it. Oh, he did. He did it just give you a potion. I'm just letting you know. You're not skilled with range attacks. There's nothing he can do with it anyway. I have all the ammunition. I know. You can't That's do what you think. My pickpocket fingers are faster than you could ever imagine. <laughs> Look at this. So he's playing games. I, I really don't think they are. Uh, <laughs> Sound like a challenge. <laughs> at, at this point, Keyleth and Vax catch up to the rest of you guys. I like that Sam... How did it go? Did you kill the little... Um, the little he's got the gun. All right, so he's got the gun now. Oh. Vex gave loaded. Scanlan a gun. I don't think it's loaded. Oh, God. He traded a potion for the Talzin's gun. I tried to... <laughs> no, I tried to jam a piece of the, the jammy... Uh, See, none of them glass. even assume he's going to destroy it. We, it, it. Does he? I know he does in the show. I, uh, I'm, I'm probably lucky that I was able to pull away as quickly as I did, because I think it kind of eats everything around it. So wait, it's still, it's still there? It's still there, yeah. Is it moving at all? It's doing its like really fast spin. That's what we saw, and then Yenin sent a dude and it sucked the flesh off of him. I thought I could maybe go into my wild shape and bring down the building. I thought maybe if I collapse the building, maybe it was drawing some sort of energy from the nets of intertwined bodies, but I could right, right. blocking all magic capabilities. Can I look over at Lady Briarwood and do a, a check on her to see if she looks stable? That's a good idea. Uh, which, at, the, at this point, too, just to notice, in all the chaos and all the uh, the intent trying to get things out of there, um, you have just now starting to realize that the seeming spell that you placed on the whole party had also been canceled as part of whatever this oh. triggered anti -tool. All right. So, in this, all so the sphere up. has killed it, I guess. Oh, oh, beautiful again. Thank you. That's good, because I noticed your beard. That's right. That's right. I'm, are, are you checking on Lady Briarwood? I am. Trinket's like nuzzling the body. Oh. Keep her unconscious. Trinket, careful, careful. Trinket's nuzzling I'm her. I'm try and wake Cassandra up. Okay. That's the magic. That's the magic. He was right that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, you go ahead and, and, and check up on her. Go ahead and make a... Actually, this, oh. this is pretty easy. Take a moment. You kind of just We're getting Ashley Johnson, Johnson back on the screen. That's what that Skype startup was. There she is. And with a flash, <laughs> with a, a flash, a flash of, of divine energy, energy, just past the outskirts of this anti-magic field, you can see Pike's uh, great. Radiant field yeah, Liam was over there doing it the whole time. Pike. Pike. Come back! Come back! Come back! Come back! Thank well, God. That's so really we're, good. We're, 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 kill, we're killing uh, Lady Briarwood. No, we're okay. We're okay. We're fine. Everything's okay. Thanks, Aaron Ray. You're back. Okay. Uh, we're, uh, can can I heal somebody? Um, well, we did that a bit while you were gone, but, but yes. But I'm still pretty low. Vax is low. If, if you like it, oh. I could. I would take it, and I would be grateful. How's everybody else? I almost feel like Scanlan wasted a potion because yeah. Pike's back. Um, but then again, I, he got the gun. What's he I'm doing with the gun? Well. Pike, heal us all. We love you. Are we okay. Taking let me do a mass cure wound because I have that. Gather together, everyone. Gather together. <laughs> a mass uh, cure. Oh, wait. What? Wait. 
We don't want her to don't heal. Let yeah, don't let Lady Bro imagine that they brought her in the circle. Is she alive? Uh, she is currently alive. She's Girl, unconscious. Drag her over there. And she's the um, okay. thankfully from the from the blast and the sheer force of it. Cauterized um, it. Part of the wound uh, was cauterized, but she. That's what I figured. Quite a bit on on the run down here, and she would probably need some sort Should of. Should I stabilize even... her? Let's we let yeah, her stabilize her first. We're away think, from yes. the fucking sacrifice area. Maybe we should just kill her. Um, I want to quickly check my gun. What is 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 Lord Briar Briarwood's name still on it? Uh, you go and in, in, inspect the barrel. No, uh, Silas Briarwood is uh, currently. But doesn't Sam have his gun? From the barrel at Let's hold off. Just a bit before we kill her. I have some really dirty rags. Could I do a medicine check and try and stabilize her bleeding? If you want to. Oh, dirty God. rags? Gross. An 18. That's pretty good. Do you have medicine What's your skill? Zero. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. He rolled a solid 18. He over and like, pulls out a, a mottled mass <laughs> really of, dirty, of, of really filthy rags from his bag of holding. Probably, yeah, those probably used in you know, various nose wiping circumstances. Or other things. But somehow. But somehow, um, it manages to to stop the bleeding and keep her relatively stable for the moment. Yeah. Okay, and then I take her by the foot and I drag her on her face away from the group. <laughs> okay. And, and I enjoy the visual, but don't hurt her more. We're barely holding her alive. Oh, right. Well, yeah, she good talks and shit, doesn't she? I don't want her speaking, and she only has one arm, so yeah, magic's gonna be tricky. Th this kind of thing, yeah. but yeah. she can still talk. So. Like, you say you wanted to cast mass cure wounds, you said? Yes. Like, you can choose up to six creatures in the I'm just wondering how far they go with the gun. He had, he... Okay, so I'll... Why I'll she can't I'll... see us? Why are, we, why are we holding our hands up? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, you can see us on the screen, yes, never mind. Yes. I know, I, ha I have you guys on my iPad down here, but you're just delayed. Six. I was gonna say, I feel like it's slightly I'll, I'll, I'll delayed. Cure, I'll cure all, all my, my, the six people in my family. All right, so that's uh, three, 3d8 plus five for you. Wow. Pour one out for your homies. <laughs> yeah. Roll high. Oh, to have a cleric in the group again. I, know. Yeah, I was gonna, yeah, like, I honestly think they should have just played it cool till Pike came back and not did all, I mean, Sam for, wanted the gun. He hasn't done anything though, and then tells and check the gun. Let this be a lesson for all people out there that think clerics are lame and nobody loves them. We love them. I have gained interest quickly based on the nuclear bomb she dropped. Nuclear. around Lady Brywood's mouth, but like, yeah, like in the cheeks up, she can't like really enunciate. Okay. Uh, yeah. Alright, so you go ahead and you, you pull it in, you gag around and set her mouth, and as you end up tying it, you can see one of her eyes kind of lulls open, <gasps> and she kind of... <laughs> oh, 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 shit, she's awake! Oh, oh, oh. Punch her in the face! <laughs> Punch her in the no, face! No, 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 you'll kill her. The, uh, exactly! <laughs> she's like barely <laughs> holding on. I slap her. <laughs> Even a slap <laughs> might kill her. Shit. <laughs> he might kill her with a slap! He's gonna kill her with a slap. Yeah! <laughs> she'll be knocked unconscious, and then she'll have to save three times again. Twenty-one? Oh, that's good. No. Okay. Whack! Right across her face. Do you hear a resounding crack sound as it appears like a, some part of her cheekbone probably is going to oh, be fairly shit. bruised tomorrow? Uh, but she is straight to unconsciousness. Again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Curious, he didn't kill her. Still alive. I can tell. No. She almost killed me. Is she just unconscious or is she. Like... She's still breathing. All right. I'm gonna try and wake up Cassandra. Okay. Up did bandages on her real good. Right. So as you're as you're standing, I did bandages on her real good. I just don't want to make this too long. I'm loving it, but I'm like, I thought this the gun thing was gonna happen when he had it. Nearly hogtied by Grog when you guys finished up at the top of the temple. Um, she's breathing. You can see the, like the the dirt from being pushed on the ground is kind of caked in on where the tear marks were down her face. Um, you shake her gently, and eventually she comes to consciousness and kind of. Yeah, gently. You know, our eyes kind of roll around for a moment, and she glances over at you. And says, Percy? We will have a discussion later. In the meantime, do you know what that thing in there is, and how do we stop it? She didn't see it, did she? I don't. What? The spinning What's going orb on? of death. And she like, starts kind of moving around and looking around the tunnel real fast at everyone. What happened? What's going on? You betrayed some bitches, that's what you I'm, did. And she, as she says, you see that it's, she reacts as almost like someone had just punched her in the chest and the tears begin to flow down her face again. And she's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is she being I sincere? Slap her in the face. Okay. 
Maybe she does. Uh, you might be unconscious to you. Not with my strength. Natural, Natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sixteen. My strength is well. Actually, my strength is still thin because of the. I'm sorry, I forgot that he's like he's with Cassandra. Cassandra. I'm still thinking they're on Lady Briarwood. It's Cassandra. So, 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 so you smack her, um, just to kind of get her attention and, yes. and to stop the circumstance. Um, she uh, kind of stops and for a second gathers herself and her breathing slows and she kind of just stares off into space for a moment. I I need my sister back. Are you awake? <laughs> Are you a terrible person? Do I want to strangle you right now? <laughs> he looks like he's Good. legitimately can work with this. shaking. <laughs> they were building something down here. The Briarwoods are no longer a problem. They were building something. What do you know about it? It may be started. It's, it seems to be affecting magic. I think. I don't know. I, they, they I was going to say, I doubt Cassandra would know the... Anymore. The details or anything. Right I mean, she knows probably right a little, now. maybe. And she looks over at you with an intensity through her gaze that catches you not as desperation, but as passionate self loathing. I seem to really believe your words, but you know, your word is worth fuck all right now. Fuck all. <laughs> oh my God. I like it. Like, I love how serious he looks. I know. Cavern wall and kind of stares off into space. Because I, I, all that I know about this is that they've been building it under the guidance of some other person or entity, and they've referred to him many times as the Whispered One. Very secretive about it. The only reason I know is because I had overheard a few conversations and questioned them about it, to which um, there was punishment. But I. They mainly kept me to try and keep the people at bay. My job was to keep in contact with anyone who would attempt to rise against them, and inform them, or prevent any surprises. Although apparently, and thankfully, I didn't do a very good job. But she looks around the room at the rest of you. Uh, can I just sort of check my see? Sam history memory didn't go anywhere else with the gun. Is it that he didn't destroy it and kept it in this version? Um, well, that's not good. Cassandra, twenty. What? Natural twenty? No. Damn. I had a really strong reaction to that. <laughs> oh. Yes, the whispers! What? what? He's gone. He's Where is he? About the this is, oh, Jesus. This is the pre-show days. I'm so excited. It's not new. It's just it's been, been a while. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, but he's on this side of the None table. None of us have rolled this well in so long. He used to play it so because of a high religion roll, he gets to hear special whispers from Matt? Maybe this is how he gets insider information about the gun, maybe? I mean, we're a good 30 minutes in and still haven't tapped in, and I'm loving it. I just don't want to watch an entire episode. I mean, I, I like to break them up into manageable segments. Lucky, lucky boy. Uh, oh, I don't know. The whispered one. Yeah, it draws a... I have a memory. I don't know where I learned of this knowledge. I am very old. But I did, I, at some point in my travels, I, I, I remember reading about something. Uh, uh, a lich a, gang. A, li a lich? It's like a lich adventure king? time. I'm oh, almost on season nine. Yeah. Almost he done. He wanted to be a god. And his name was Vecna. And they called him the Whispered One. That's all I remember. He, he, he tried to achieve great power, and I don't know if it was successful or not. Oh Sonder, boy. Does any of that sound familiar? Lich indeed. Cassandra kind of shakes her head and says, Honestly, I didn't know anything beyond the name. I just know that they were very uh, close with this individual. When you betrayed us, 
You said you were serving a higher purpose. Did they plan to sacrifice you to him? I know there was a blood ritual involved. I feel like they were going to use her, but then didn't have to because they had other options when Percy showed up. The gift of power, should I give an element of my life to this ritual? I. And she kind of shakes her head for a second. She blinks her eyes and she says, I. I don't feel like I was right in my head. Cassandra. I look back on so many decisions made and all the, all the people that I Cassandra is having an emotional moment but I mean she was just being controlled I'm gonna give another couple minutes guys but if Sam doesn't get into the gun I'm gonna take a break and maybe jump back in maybe I'll just watch the last couple episodes leading to the end of campaign one deep look of regret and sorrow in her face and you do notice that for most of this conversation, as much as she's been able to talk to all of you, she has been unable to make eye contact with Percy. She feels like shit, that's why. I'm gonna walk over, plump down in front of her, say, you've backed a losing team. And that's not surprising. But did she? In the show, it looked like she had no control over that's them. Gone now. Was it? Silas is gone. Delilah is on death's door. Whitestone needs to be tended to and protected. Do you know anything that can help us save your birthright here and now? What are they, what are they freaking out? You've, you've already done half the job. Ha half? Eyes look over at the unconscious Delilah in the hallway. Cassandra, is there any reason why they would want to sacrifice you in particular? She's, she kind of... I just assumed because she had Derulo blood. Squinting. Derulo. I call it Derulo. Jason Derulo. Derulo. They spoke very little. Intentionally, I think, of what they wanted to do. To be honest, I think there was an element that even they didn't know quite what they were doing. I would believe that. Was a tool. You're overcome with darkness. I had my you probably won't think 100%. And I did my best to fulfill them. I've got a question. <clears throat> Do you care if I smash the shit out of Lady Briarwood's head now? I feel like she will say no. Her, and with a stern look on her face, she goes, Someone needs... Someone needs to avenge my family. And for the first time, she looks over and makes eye contact with you. You feel a pulse in your hand, like a heartbeat. Boom. The gun itself seems warmer and warmer. And you guys all notice as a bit of smoke begins to billow out the sides of Percy's sleeves. You hear a familiar voice creep up. This has got to be when they destroy it, the gun. All right, guys, so you just finished watching the first 30 minutes of episode 35 from campaign one. I am from the future. I have watched the entire thing already. I just went with it. I didn't take any breaks to talk like I'm doing now. And then after I watched the entire episode, you guys already know that I did part two of episode 35. It's already up on my channel. It's the Scanlan throws the gun in the acid scene. I did that after I watched all this. I had to go back this morning and edit in all these conversations because I watched over two hours of campaign one, episode 35, part one, the entire episode. It's a little over two hours. I watched the entire thing and then thought to myself, if there's a part two, could I be so stupid to have done the wrong part? And then I went back in the comments. I saw Brandon's comment and it said part two. I am the wrong one here. It literally said like clear as day, part two, episode 35. I don't know what I was doing, but like I said in other videos, it's not a waste to me because honestly, everything involved in this entire two hours that I watched involves specific 
incidences that happen with characters that are great comparisons to the actual show, The Legend of Vox Machina. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit these up into 20 to 30 minute segments, depending on where the cuts happen. This one, as you can see, I stopped it right when the smoke was coming out of Percy. There is at least an hour long fight with Orthax. It might even be the next hour and a half. Because now that the smoke's coming out, we're only 30 minutes in. The battle ended at the end of this episode, so to speak. I mean, maybe there was like 10 minutes at the end after the battle. I don't remember exactly. I have to rewatch it and then I'll do more talks like this. But from what I remember yesterday, because I watched all two hours last night and then I woke up this morning to edit them because I did the Scanlan throwing the gun in the acid thing last night like I should have done... It doesn't matter to me. I am not hating it at all. It just gave me so much more content to watch. And honestly, I'm looking forward to rewatching it and then talking about it after I do each one. I also watched all the Q&As. They were great. I put up the intro to the Q&As, but the Q&A episodes are going to come out in between these segments. So you're going to be flooded today and tomorrow with Vox Machina content. I was even wondering, you guys let me know if I should, but nobody's putting out origin content. I've said this in the other videos too. Nobody this week is putting out origin content. I don't know if it's because the show ended and now everyone lost the hype, but I'm still in it. I'm wondering if I should do what other people have been doing and totally throw myself out of the mix in other videos, throw up the campaign and then throw the comparisons of the actual Legend of Ox Machina like other people do. People seem to like those and they're quick and easy. When I do these, you gotta like reactions. You gotta like someone talking over people and doing what I do. And you gotta like longer videos, 20, 30 minutes usually is the average of these. If I throw up the scenes with the comparisons, you see how people do it. It's like always less than 10 minutes. Sometimes it's two or three minutes. They just throw up a clip and they throw up a scene and they're done. I was thinking of doing some of those for people that don't feel like sitting through 20 or 30 minutes of this or people that just don't like people that react to things like me. Maybe they just want to watch it on their own and not have me talking in their face. I always have to have the volume much lower and talk over it for copyright reasons and the fact that it's got to be review and critique and stuff like that. If you do what the other people do though and just throw up short clips with comparison campaign stuff. I mean, I don't know. It depends how much time I have because this might take me all day. I've got to rewatch two hours, throw in conversations at the end because if you guys, well, you couldn't have seen because I didn't show you, but I did the entire two hours in one span. I usually will take pauses like, all right, 30 minutes, let's take a break and we'll talk. But because I didn't realize that that was the wrong episode, I kept thinking, you'll see throughout my entire reactions, I kept thinking that any minute now, Scanlan's going to grab that gun and throw it in the acid, and it never happened till the first, like, 10 minutes of part two, which is what Brandon said, and I was wrong and I messed up. But in this, as you can see, we get... A lot of Delilah and Cassandra. I tried to put the Delilah and the Cassandra stuff into one segment. As soon as Matt started talking as Orthax and the smoke started rising, I'm like, all right, I know that battle's coming. I feel like the next couple I'm going to have to break up into Orthax battles. Unless I'm mistaken, I feel like the next hour plus is Orthax. And I don't want to make an hour long video. I said this before to you guys too. I find that if I put up more than 30 or 40 minutes, people are like, ah, that's a commitment. And then they don't watch it. And I don't blame them because I'd probably do the same thing. Once you pass like 30, 40 minutes, it becomes like a movie length thing. And then I'm like, I got to watch this later. Or I sideline it and then I forget or something like that. So let's just go like this. In this one, we got Delilah, we got Cassandra, we found out some more things. There's other hidden details throughout, and I'll talk more about them in the next one, because this was basically explaining to you what the hell was going on. But if you guys have origin content or timestamp stuff, I did see in the comments somebody, I'm going to go back and look and you're going to get credit for it when I do that. But in episode 32, timestamped around three hours and something minutes, there is a scene involving something. And I can't remember what it is, and I can't remember who posted it, but when I do that reaction, I will give you credit, and I will give you a shout-out, and we will do that. Because I can't remember what it was, but whatever it was, I was intrigued, and I wanted to do it. So after I do all these, I'll do that one. Throw up more if you guys got it. Because if people aren't going to post them, I'll put in the man hours. I'll do it myself. I have no problem putting in the work. It was just other people were doing them so often that... It was avoiding spoilers, so to speak. But now that people told me you're pretty much not going to see any spoilers up until like beyond episode 3940 of the campaign, I feel pretty content that even if I do see and hear things 
that could be spoilers. It's not going to be too major. So you guys let me know what you think. You want to see more of what I do, full on edited episodes, all the shows on the channel, seasons ahead of what you're seeing, and hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. The link is in front of me. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.